Welcome to Ready Set RC. And today, guys, we have the next phase in the changes that we plan on doing with the Team Corrali Skeeter. What we plan on doing on this truck right now is taking those HD steering blocks and the rear hub carriers and swapping them over to the 1 8 scale hub carriers to give us a 30 millimeter overall extension to the width of this truck. What that means is showing you the front steering HD steering block that comes off the truck. And these are the ones that we're looking to put on. Now these steering blocks, I got them directly from Team Corrali. The reason why I had them is because I currently own the Jambo and the Kronos. And when Team Corrali was doing replacement for those parts that we were having issues with, I went ahead and ordered the ones for my Jambo and for my Kronos. They did come to me free of charge. The only thing that I had to pay for was for shipping. And that was because Team Corrali was doing that offering for anybody who had purchased the Kronos and Jambo. So since I am not putting those parts on my Kronos, I decided that I'm gonna put them on the Skeeter. And this is the part number for the HD steering block. As for the rear hub carriers, let's show you what those look like. So this is the rear hub carrier that came off the truck. I've done one side of the truck already. And this is the rear hub carrier that we're looking to put on from the 1 8 scale trucks. And that's what it looks like on the side. So you guys can see how much more added width we are getting. Now this idea came from Razor RC. Uh, he did post this up on his channel some time ago. I am gonna leave a link to his video in the description below. Now, in regards to the stub axles replacing in the front and also in the rear, let's show you what that looks like. This is the stub axle that comes off of the front of the car. It is retained with a spring, and that spring you must remove to get the pin out to remove the stub axle. Now, this is the original stub axle from the Skeeter. This is the spring you gotta remove to get that pin out from the drive shaft. And this drive shaft and stub axle, I actually purchased from Jenny's RC. And this is the ones that you're gonna be replacing on the Skeeter. Now you can see the added length of the stub axle on this one. And to get it off, as I said, you're gonna remove the spring and then remove the pin that is holding this in. And then you're gonna use this stub axle on the Skeeter. And just to give you guys an idea of what that length looks like, the original, the new. Hopefully you guys are seeing the extra length that you get from your different stub axles. On the rear, I am losing the spring steel because that's what comes on this truck for the rear. You get the spring steel stub axle for it. I am losing that, but I've never had a problem with the stub axles from Team Corrali. These are the stub axles that you get from Jenny's RC to give you that extra width. And then that would be it, guys. But what we're gonna do in this video is we're gonna take the truck and we're gonna do this side of the truck since this side has not been completed and then show you guys what the truck looks like all together. Let me give you one more angle since I have one side of the truck done as to what that width increase is going to look like. So here we are guys with the Skeeter. This side is the side that has not been done. This is the side that has. Hopefully you guys are able to see by us changing out the HD steering block, the hub carriers and the stub axles and getting that overall 30 millimeter width addition on this truck. And that should help us out with our complete transformation that we are planning to do with the Skeeter. But next up, let's go ahead and make these changes to the other side of the truck and let you guys see how it goes in. All right, let's get this wheel off. And I know you guys are wondering why or how was the wheel coming off so easy for me. I've taken the wheels off already on this truck. I was a little bit of a snug fit to get them off. But what I did was to get them off, I applied a little bit of heat. Have to give them a little bit of heat. I reamed out the hole on the wheels just to give me a little bit more clearance to get over the hexes. And it's no issues after that point. Since I don't have a tool with me right now, I'm gonna cheat. Give it a little tap. There we go. 
And the only reason why we had to give it a little tap, it had some Loctite on it or something. It had some Loctite on it. Keep that off. This is what I was showing you guys before. These are the shorter stub axles that are on there. We're gonna replace these. We're gonna keep the drive shaft. Take note, the one with the washer is down below. And these are the old ones, the old uh, steering blocks. HD steering blocks, I'm gonna take the bearings from the old one, put them on this. The only reason why is that the HD steering blocks, when you order them, they do not come with bearings. Bearings back in. Go. Just make sure you seat that properly. You don't want to cross thread this. And don't over tighten it, you definitely want some play. That is over tightened. Let's loosen it up, back it out. There we go. We can always adjust afterwards. Let's do the other one. Fun part the spring. Just want to ease it up. Then once you ease it up, you can kind of twirl it around and get it completely off. And that's it guys. That's all you need to do to get the spring out. And then we're gonna push that pin through. And this is the old stub axle. I'm gonna get this one off and we're gonna put the new. Once again, just twist it right off. Get that pin out. Line the holes, and we're going to get that new pin. Get the old pin back in. There we go. Put the spring back on. Same deal. It in. That's what, I, that's what I did with the other side. Just work it in. And there we go. All together. Get the new HD block on. Don't forget the washer for the lower. And just work in reverse, guys. At this point, just work in reverse.
Now, if you're not using a set, Flush in. Set screw, you're gonna to want to put a little bit of Loctite on it. Get that in. And then, what I like to do, since I don't have my tools, so with me right now to hold that in place. Just make sure that's nice and, there we go. And that's all we have, guys, that's it for the front. Let's do the rear. The rear is a lot quicker, a lot smoother. Let's do the rear on this truck. Same deal for the rear. I don't have my tools. Let's get this out. Set screws out. Take that tire, put it back. Let's get that pin. Pins out. Takes this off. Got a nut going on right here. Get off Get the screw. And we have two spacers going on in the rear. Uh, on the other side, I had problems trying to squeeze the two spacers in. And I'm gonna see if I can still, if I could do that on the other hub carrier, but I had trouble squeezing them both in. I just want you guys to know that. Two spacers, two spacers down below. Those went in very easy. Didn't have a problem with those, but did have a problem with the other ones. Once again, spring steel for the stub axle, we're gonna be losing this. Uh, we de I definitely don't have spring steel going back on. There we are. Drive shaft goes back in. Got that going. This is my little trick. This is a lock nut that's on there. You can put some, you can put some Loctite on there. I'm not going to, it's a lock nut. I typically will not have issues with this if you put it on right the first time. But if you want that extra sense, if you want that extra sense, you could always, of security, you could always put some Loctite on there. We're going to put that through the center and put one of the spacers on. I'm going to see if this was going to allow me to put the other spacer on. As I said, the other side was so tight that I couldn't squeeze in the spacer. Let's see if it allowed me to squeeze this one in. Just like the other side, it is a little bit of a fight, but it will allow you to squeeze in that spacer. And I'm just gonna drive it and let it find a hole. Woo! Yeah, there we go. And once again, this is a lock nut. Feel free to add Loctite if you need it. But for me, they tend to. There we 
brakes back on. video up so let's close this video out and now you guys can see the transformation that i did on this side we have now done the same thing for this side over here and hopefully you guys are able to see the width difference on this truck by making those changes with the stub axles the hd blocks up in the front and the hub carriers in the rear to give us this overall 30 millimeter improvement in width um, of course when you do these kind of changes to your vehicle. It is going to lessen the quality of your steering radius that you had on the truck prior to this. From all the videos that I've seen with this truck, it seems to steer pretty well. And I think the 30 millimeters is not going to hurt it for what I plan to do to this truck. But stay tuned for the next phase to see what we are planning to do with the Team Corrali Skeeter. But we're gonna leave it here. Please like, comment, and share the video. Hit the bell so you get the latest notifications of when we post our videos. Check us out on Instagram for all the updates that we do on the channel. This is Ready Set RC, signing out. Thanks again, guys.